There are five settings with an electronic transfer case or a truck that has auto four-wheel drive capabilities. They are two-wheel drive, auto four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive low, four-wheel drive high, and neutral. This video will give you a better understanding of how and when to operate each four-wheel drive setting. When in two-wheel drive, the vehicle is operating with rear axles, and when extra traction is needed during two-wheel drive operation, the locking differential will engage. The two-wheel drive setting also provides the best fuel economy. To engage the two-wheel drive setting, you may turn the knob to too high at any speed except when shifting from four low. The indicator light will flash while shifting and will remain on when the shift is completed. Auto four-wheel drive is the most commonly used option. Use when the road surface traction conditions are variable. When driving an auto four-wheel drive, the front axle is engaged and the vehicle's power is sent to the front and rear wheels automatically based on driving conditions. You may shift into auto four-wheel drive at any speed except from four low. Again, the indicator light will flash while shifting and will remain on when the shift is completed. If you have shifted back to two-wheel drive, you may test the vehicle to ensure the vehicle is out of four-wheel drive by driving the vehicle in a tight circle on pavement. And if it skips, the vehicle is still in four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive high is for when extra traction is needed, such as snowy or icy roads, when off-roading, or when plowing snow. You can shift from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive high at any time except from four low. Simply move your shift lever to the four-wheel drive high symbol. Shifting while the vehicle is in motion may require moderate force, but be sure to shift in one continuous motion. It can be done at any speed, though in extremely cold weather you may need to stop or slow down in order to shift. While in four-wheel drive high, the vehicle can be driven at any posted legal speed limit. Four-wheel drive low is used for extra heavy-duty power or traction situations that will need to deliver extra torque. Use four low when driving off-road in deep sand, deep mud, or deep snow, and while climbing or descending very steep hills. Shifting into four low will turn traction control and Stabilitrack off. Please keep in mind that while four low is engaged, the vehicle's speed must be kept below 72 kilometers an hour and only on loose terrain. Try to avoid concrete, but if you need four wheel drive low on concrete surfaces, make sure to keep the speed below 60 kilometers per hour. To shift into four low, the ignition must be turned on or be running, and the vehicle must be stopped or moving less than four kilometers an hour with the transmission in neutral. It is best for the vehicle to be moving 1.6 to 3.2 kilometers per hour. Turn the knob into four low. Wait for the four low indicator light to stop flashing before shifting the transmission into gear. Caution, shifting the transmission into gear before the requested mode indicator light has stopped flashing could damage the transfer case. If the transmission is in gear and or moving more than four kilometers an hour, the four low indicator light will flash for 30 seconds and not complete the shift. After 30 seconds, the transfer case will shift to four high instead. Turn the knob into four high to display the indicator. Then with the vehicle moving less than five kilometers and the transmission in neutral, attempt the shift again. To shift out of four low, the vehicle must be stopped or moving less than five kilometers an hour with the transmission in neutral and the vehicle running. It is best for the vehicle to be moving 1.6 to 3.2 kilometers an hour. Turn the knob to four high, auto four wheel drive or two wheel drive. Wait for the four high, auto or two wheel drive indicator light to stop flashing before shifting the transmission into gear. Caution, shifting the transmission into gear before the requested mode indicator light has stopped flashing could damage the transfer case. The neutral setting is only used if you need to have the vehicle itself towed behind something. To shift the vehicle into neutral, park the vehicle on a level surface, set the parking brake and press and hold the brake pedal. Start the vehicle and have the vehicle running. Shift the transmission to neutral. Shift the transfer case to too high. Turn the transfer case knob clockwise to neutral until it stops and hold it there until the neutral light starts blinking. This will take at least 10 seconds. Then slowly release the dial to the four low position. The neutral light will then come on when the transfer case shift to neutral is complete. With the engine running, verify the transfer case is in neutral by shifting the transmission to reverse, then shifting to drive. There should be no movement of the vehicle while shifting the transmission. Turn the engine off and the ignition to accessory. Place the transmission shift lever in park and turn the ignition off. To shift out a neutral, set the parking brake and apply the brake pedal. Make sure the vehicle is running. Shift the transmission to neutral. Turn the transfer case knob to the desired setting. After the transfer case has shifted out of neutral, the neutral light will go out. 
Release the park brake and start the engine and shift the transmission to the desired gear.